deep is this water anyways? Needy, needy, <laughs> needy. <laughs> oh, 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 hop in. Okay. <coughs> ah. Sorry, seems like I had a little frog in my throat. <laughs> there. How about some Gatorade? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I kill myself. <laughs> Don't kill yourself literally though. Oh, I won't. No, no, that's dangerous. That'd be bad. Yes, no, uh, I guess t tell me again the the sort of the, the story, how the story is. Okay, well, basically this story is based on a children's book by Richard Waring and it was an award-winning book. And um, this little girl is brought in um, uh, ah, a present. <laughs> Sorry, Robert. A present for his uh, for her sixth birthday, mm -hmm. and it hatches into an alligator. Okay. She teaches it how to tango, and uh, accidentally flushes him down the toilet. And the first while, it's not so bad because he, he runs into this circus and has a really good time. And then afterwards, it gets a little scary because he's trying to find his way home, and he's popping up uh, in different people's toilets. And so it's kind of based on the myth that there's alligators in the sewer system and that they're roving around and that there's there's really only one alligator and they think that there's thousands of alligators so they send in a big alligator hunter butch butch everglade to go and find him and and hunt him down and put him in the sea later alligator prison and uh so it's the kind of the last part of the the story is about him trying to not get captured and the frogs help him and and uh the rats and all that that are in the sewer right. <laughs> what what is not to like about an alligator fl getting flushed on the toilet like the kids just go crazy and the parents love it and and uh, uh we just always had really good uh success with it okay. and then i thought oh wouldn't it be cool to put it to music and so that's when i <laughs> called my very good friend here richard link and and we've been working on it for three and a half years actually doing many workshops and and um I'm currently the artistic director of company, and we're focusing on uh, family family theater. And uh, this is our one of our first big projects. Yes, then. So yes. tell me, tell me about the process for you of writing the music. Well, it's it's almost as grand in scale as Wagner's The Ring Cycle, I think. <laughs> so, and our process has almost been as dramatic, I think. So, it, what's happened is because I live far away across the ocean, I would come into town for a week or two weeks and we'd have an intense week of writing and then we'd gather a bunch of puppets and people together and run it a little bit and then I'd go off and sort of recover from the experience and then come back about six months later and do it all over again. <laughs> so we've been doing that for about three years. Every yeah. six or eight months we'd get together and work on it. Wow. So can you uh, can you describe the music to us? Like, I mean, is it Wagnerian or...? <laughs> no, it's, well, it, the, this alligator loves to tango. And so does Tina. So there's a whole bunch of, a lot of tango music in it. And this is a whole wild variety of styles, which is because they, he ends up going down the sewer and he comes across a circus. And the, the circus is filled with all these crazy zany creatures who all have their own music. And there's some Italian rats and some clowny buffoons. And so they, or buffoony frogs. So they, it's, it's a real mixture of musics, I guess. Okay, it's. Uh, www company with a K company family theater dot com. Oh, yeah. Actually, can can I hold on to that? Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's good. All the, the folks that are involved. 